Good. Thanks for having me. Would he want you to be in our studio? Uh, no. <laughs> he wouldn't. I'm guessing not. I'm pretty sure when he hears this, he's going to have to need a new change of underwear. But Really? Yeah. When's the last time that you uh, talked to Eminem? Um, back early, early June, um, before he went on tour, this la latest uh, anger management tour. What, what, was the, what was that conversation about? Um, basically, I was asking why he was dodging us, and we became family, and my kids call him Uncle Marshall, and um, it got to where uh, Kim came back into the picture, and because of my war with Kim, um, pretty soon we were just put on the back burner. And, war, war meaning? Um, I grew up with Kim. First of all, I want to say um, this book is now available on Amazon.com. So. It is? Okay. Yes. So, um, it's pretty exciting, isn't it? I know you have a book on Amazon.com? It is. It just basically started as a project. You know, it's like a therapy thing to kind of get things off my chest and kind of a message to Marshall, too, to let him know because I have no way of getting a hold of him. He's just broken all ties without any kind of um, explanation, and I have crying children at home that I have to... Wow. Look after every day and and try to wipe their tears and this is a therapy for them too. Okay, so let, let, let's go through one by one. This is gonna be an interesting story here. You um, you knew him because you grew up with Kim, right? Kim and I um, grew up as quote unquote cousins. Um, her mother's best friends with my mother, my stepmother. Okay, and um, so we called each other's parents, aunt and uncle. Okay, we grew up. I've known Kim for twenty years. And you and Marshall Eminem became friends because of that right I've known him since well we went to the same grade school junior high school and high school together we're the same age in fact um, he's a week older my birthday is next week so um, so I've you know gone to school with him but never really got to know him until it was through Kim okay and you guys then you know became friends you you know what his life's all about and we'll talk more about that mm -hmm. where did the split come into play was it because of your ties with uh, with Kim or he just uh, does he do this with his friends does he just sudden say oh, I don't want to be friends with you anymore he moves on I've seen him do this to a lot of people and I was just always kind of reassured that it would never happen to me because we were family you know um, through the split with him and Kim and um, his daughter is four months younger than my youngest daughter mm. and my oldest daughter always kind of helped look after Haley and they all, we all had a great strong bond together and um, I was pretty much reassured that I would never be on the outs I mean I, I saw it happen to a lot of people they were kicked out of the circle or whatever sure. all right in studio with us right now is J.R. Watkins she's got a tell-all book right now available at amazon.com called cleaning out my closet uh, this is a book that Eminem obviously doesn't want to come out and does he know that this book is out right now to my knowledge, no. This will be um, his first, you know. He's going to be shocked because, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Um, because I, I know for a fact that very few people know all the details that I know. Okay, what, tell, us, tell us some of the details that, that you know. Um, just to kind of give you a, a, an overview of what's in the book, um, his relationship with his family um, would, would blow your mind. Um, of course, everyone knows that his and Kim's relationship is kind of twisted but no one really kind of gets some kind of insight into it as to why they keep going back together like I do. What's the reasoning? Um, Marshall has grown up, my theory is that Marshall's grown up with um, some kind of low self-esteem and from what his accounts are, uh, verbal abuse and, and physical abuse. And I believe anybody will tell you that when, you, when you're growing up and you're used to that kind of treatment, that that's what you consider to be normal and Kim fits that mold perfectly she was verbally abused growing up and she's a very abusive person so she abuses him yes that he what you hear in the songs and and everything that is not Marshall Mathers that might be what's inside of him all his anger built up right but you never see that on a daily basis come out of Marshall never and Kim and him they bring out the worst in each other they bring out the devil in each other, and um, it's a love-hate relationship. When it's good, it's good, and you see them, they look cute together, but when it's bad, it's just terrible. When's the last time you think that, uh, that Eminem and Kim talked with each other? Do they, do they talk on a regular basis because the of Haley? The last time, well, always because of Haley. And even when they weren't on good terms, they would talk over Haley, and she would call and be nasty, and... She'd call, I was there, and he'd hang up the phone, and I remember one instance he'd, he'd say, Kim, I'm not going to talk to you until you can talk to me with respect, and he'd hang up the phone, and she'd call back, and he says, 
Kim, say it. I'll say it with you. Marshall, I have respect for you. And he'd hang up the phone on her. And it's like, he gets her goat and she gets his, you know, and it's just, it, and it just, t- you know, it explodes most of the time. And poor Haley's caught in the middle. This is a Channel 955 exclusive. J.R. Watkins is in with us right now. The book is called Cleaning Out My Closet. It is a tell-all. Uh, the former um, uh, caretaker for Haley. Now, you, you saw some of the decadence that took place in this guy's life. I mean, you saw Marshall from the stages of, of being pretty much nothing to now being on top of the world. Right, and I've seen him go from, I mean, he didn't really handle success very well in the beginning, and even now he handles it on the surface, but underneath he still wishes he was like you and I, an everyday person. He can't go into a, a store or a restaurant, and he really misses it. We've done a lot of exclusives and, and one-on-one interviews with authors that have done tell-all books and people that have been close to different celebrities. Um, you're obviously, this I would guess, is, is your first book or the, the first thing that you've yes. done. Yeah. Um, how do you feel revealing all this information? Obviously, Eminem's known for, for different you know security breaches and, uh, and, and police issues. I mean, what, what's going through your mind right now, telling everybody this information, and then, of course, putting the book on the market? Well, it, this is something we've thought about for a while. And um, we, we know pretty much what could happen or what might be going through his mind. And I'm definitely not trying to hurt him. He was like a brother to me mm. for the last couple of years. And 